Welcome back to my little corner on the internet. So today I'm reacting to top 10 biggest arguments in British TV history. This has got to be fun. I just want to hear, are there going to be serious ones or are there going to be like one of them petty ass ones? One way to find out. So without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Okay, it's recording. Can you smell her at all? No, I got my own body Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 biggest arguments in British TV history. <coughs> I'm sorry, I really don't know. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? You judge children. Yes. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. This water, I promise. Before this list, we'll be looking at some of the most heated, intense, and scandalous mm. fights that have ever appeared on the small screen. Which arguments shocked you the most? Leave your pick in the comments below. Number 10, Dennis Skinner and David Cameron, House of Commons. The House of Commons can be a rowdy place at the best of times, and Labour MP Dennis Skinner was notorious for speaking his mind, even if it meant getting suspended. In 2016, he accused Prime Minister David Cameron of hiding his shadowy personal finances, calling him Dodgy Dave. I didn't receive a proper answer then. Maybe Dodgy Dave will answer it now. Dodgy Dave! When Speaker John Burko called for order and asked him to take back his comments, he declined. Other MPs weren't the only ones to find this hilarious. Skinner, who was suspended ten times over his career, not only called the Prime Minister dodgy to his face, but he refused to take it back. This man has done more to divide this nation than... <laughs> the guy in the back! <laughs> oh wow! That's the kind dodgy of day. That love, I'm done. And we're not used to hearing it from politicians nowadays. Number oh. eight: Piers Morgan and Diggory Haddocky. Good morning, Britain. I, I find it repulsive when I see these big corpulent American tycoons coming over, blasting at rhinos and then posing for their lovely pictures. Piers Morgan has been at the centre of countless fights on British television over the years, where the people have been arguing with him for about... Ah, oh, how did this one? I actually saw this one before. That, th this fact they're about to bring up, a star. How could I forget those, those two on the X-Factor singing horribly? See. Five, Peter and Jane, <laughs> come dine with me. In fourth place, How can this be bad? is Nicky. Peter Marsh couldn't have known he was creating an iconic moment in British culture when he unleashed a Shakespearean monologue on his fellow come dine <coughs> with me contestant, Jane. You won, Jane. After a week of competing to give the best dinner party, he announced her win by musing, What a sad little life, Jane, dishing out some deadly insults and demanding that she got off his property. As you have all the grace of a reversing dump truck without any tires <laughs> on. Peter's frustration led to one of the most hilariously harsh moments in the history of Come Dine With Me, inspiring countless memes and recreations. It's a great TV fight, not just because he's so eloquent, but also because at the end of the day, they're arguing over appetizers. Jane, take your money and get off my property. <laughs> all, Katie oh, about time this bitch end up on here. This morning. Gosh. Katie Hopkins oh, oh, here it goes. It's the one with her, where she where she goes on there. He has just a YouTube channel, actually. Mm, yeah. That's not the point right now. Okay, the point is, is she went on here. She had the bottle to go on this morning. I'm not talking about how she judges other kids and their upbringings based on children's names. What? <laughs> Come on. Oh, I didn't start a really set me up. One of the UK's most controversial figures. Name For the wrong reasons. Shortcut. It's a really efficient way of working out what class that child comes from. Do I want my children to play with them? One particular viral moment saw her completely humiliated when she appeared on This Morning to defend her harsh opinions on children's names. Hopkins criticised working class parents for using geographical locations, making fun of names like Brooklyn. Oh, so and she has a child called India. Or London. Yikes. 
Yes, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> and this now gets old. Schofield interrupted to point out that her child's name is India. Is it India and Poppy on the run? Tried to continue speaking, but no, Holly no. Willoughby was in hysterics, and the rest of the nation reacted the same way. <laughs> you judge children. Yes. Cheers, Holly Willoughby, and let's go for G Legends for roasting this bitch on national television. No shade, no shade. Katie's snobbish view is seriously after they had seen that clip. It's not milk, it's fresh milk filtered for purity. Arla Cravendale. Silver Line 2020, she's apparently banned from Twitter. Exactly. So up to 60% of Axe's more download now. Number three, Robert Downey Jr. and Krishnan Gurumurthy, Channel 4 News. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm such a fantasist that I felt like I was Tony Stark. Channel 4 presenter Krishnan Gurumurthy has a reputation for winding up Americans. His interview with Quentin Tarantino in 2013 infamously led to the director threatening, I'm shutting your butt down. One moment that sparked a lot of conversation came from Guru Murthy interviewing Iron Man himself, Robert Downey Jr. D does that mean you're, you're not in the room, or that you came out of prison not being with Uh, are we promoting a movie? After the presenter pushed Downey Jr. to talk about the more scandalous parts of his history, including his father and the drug problem that led to his arrest, the actor walked out calling Guru Murthy a schmuck. Some people thought the presenter had gone too far by bringing up those topics. On the other hand, some argued that the American actor was too sensitive. I'm Something sorry, I, I really don't uh, What are we doing? Uh, uh, well, I'm just asking questions, that's all right. right. Okay. Bye. Whichever side you land on, you have to agree that it made great TV. Number two, Gemma Collins. Get, get that money somehow. I'm not gonna backfire as they are throwing them at each other. Number one, Grace Jones and Russell Harty. The Russell Harty Show. Can you smell her at all? No, I got my own body odor. Let's try and keep on a slightly higher level hmm? if we make it. For our number one pick, we're taking it back to the 80s and remembering oh, a that's classic way back. scrap between way back. Jones and TV host Russell Harty in 1982. Jones appeared on Hardy's chat show and slapped him live on air. Don't turn your no, back on me anymore. I can't look at you. Ah. <laughs> I thought this was no way to treat a guest. When the nation saw the shocking fights, raising sword, and the show even tried to get her back on air for a rematch. But we still have this iconic moment of British TV where Jones made it clear that she was not afraid to stand up for herself. You agree oh, that's politics? good. Check out okay, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, it's done. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is... I did not expect number one to be a clip from... Was it the 80s? Okay. <clears throat> Very entertaining. It turns out if you've been seeing kickoffs on national television, even before the 2000s. Okay. I'm off to, um... Watch Netflix. <laughs> And um, see you in the next one.